uh, we are paying a courtesy call today on distinguished Senator Osita Zinaso, who is the chairman of the Senate Committee on Capital Markets. Basically because um, he's a key stakeholder in the financial system and he has also continued to provide um, strong support in that area. Um, we're here basically to recognize the fact that he came you know, to our annual banking and finance um, conference that held. He made valuable contributions. We are so important to also um, let him know that um, CIBN amendment is currently going on to seek his support as much as possible and also to confirm the fact that CIBN continue to remain very supportive in enthroning ethics and professionalism in the industry. Because you are in the banking sector, we will try to make some findings. We will discover that most foreign investors that want to come in are having problems. When you do the uh, 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 um, capital importation, mm -hmm. then you bring the money in. Then the cash contract, the their money. money. How? Even dividend. Even dividend. Yeah. But the law says that we are giving some window yeah. to even take your money back. That's what our, our law says. Yeah. So how come you bring your money? The, your money is trapped. What is CPM doing? Are they using people's money to, to buy rice? Or those that are doing farming? CPM has no business doing all those type of things. That way. These are the things you will discuss with the vice president. Because for the investors to have confidence in our stock exchange, you cannot bring your money and your money will be trapped. Nobody does that kind of business. So please raise these issues. We will take time to look at this future, this year <laughs> initiative. It's looking very interesting. So we will take time to, to look at it and also possibly expand it. I've heard what you said about the uh, amendment of CIB Act, the CIBN Act. It's even long overdue. It's extremely long overdue. Because this, the law are meant to be dynamic. Yes, so it's almost moribund. <laughs> so let us have it so that we can also look at it before they will send it to us. Because from the way you're saying, it's going to come as an executive bill. So but let us look at it. Luckily for us, we we'll have some professionals here who are professionals in legislative drafting. So you can look at it too and see to what extent we can make input before they will eventually bring it to us. You know, if we make input from the beginning, by the time they bring it to us, we'll pass it without too much stress. But when we don't have an idea, once we bring it, we'll submit it to proper scrutiny. That, it might even take four years. But I can assure you that um, once we have that bill sent to us from the executive, give us a maximum of six months, we will get done with it. Um, we are formally presenting an undertaking letter to you uh, because we recognize the value we continue to pay. Uh, so this is our formal congratulatory letter. And then, by to keep a memory of what has happened today, I'm sure that you can see that my colleagues are quite excited and we're taking note of that. We are presenting this uh, plan to you from the Chapter of the of Bankers of Nigeria, given to distinguished Senator President.